might get emotional over lunch. Cheers. Dad would be really proud of me. Oh, Dad would be stoked with that. We did it. Robert Irwin gets emotional over a milestone that would have made his dad, the late Steve Irwin, proud. I hope that he'd be proud because for me, in my life, that's that's what I want to do more than anything else. The wildlife conservationist shared this clip over the weekend, holding a baby Elsea Irwini turtle, a species of turtle that was named after the crocodile hunter after he discovered them in the 90s. This is one of the highlights of my entire life and one of the most special moments ever for Australia Zoo. This species is a turtle that Dad originally discovered out in the wild. And for the first time, we've got a little baby. And right now, he's going to get his first swim in a brand new pond. I just feel very, very lucky, very honoured that I get to continue this mission that he had. Robert let the turtle off his hand and into the pond for its first swim. And that's when he got emotional. It's just so surreal. And all the stories from Dad about just how amazing and beautiful they are. I don't get emotional that much. Cheers. <laughs> Dad would be really proud of me. Oh, Dad would be stoked with that. We did it. Robert doubled down on the special moment in the caption writing that he thinks his dad would have been pretty proud that they were able to successfully breed the turtle he discovered. A rare and unique species under threat in the wild has just been given a second chance. It was the biggest adrenaline rush, an amazing experience. Steve died in 2006 at 44 after being stung by a stingray while filming in the Great Barrier Reef. His family has kept his legacy alive ever since. The grief is always going to be there, but I think that now it's moving forward and remembering everything that Dad works out so hard for and that, you know, we miss him so much. As for Robert, not only does he look a lot like his famous dad, he also has a huge love for wildlife and has had some close encounters too. Yeah, it's, it's definitely my biggest passion at the moment, yeah. Back in June, Robert got bit by a snake, but not just any snake, the same species that once bit his late father. There is no way I could watch. The wildlife warrior compared that moment to some throwback footage of his late dad getting bit on camera. Captioning the clip, Deja vu, dad and me getting bitten by the same species of snake, carpet python, decades apart. There is no way I could watch. Robert was just two when his dad died. Losing dad at such a young age, that's, that's a tough thing to go through. And for me to have so much of my life with him captured on camera, it's just wonderful. Because when the memories start to fade, you know, I can literally just rewind, press play, and relive all these, these amazing moments. And since then, Robert, along with his older sister, Bindi, and their mom, Terry, have carried on Steve's passion for wildlife conservation through their work at the Australia Zoo. To continue his message, his wonderful work, and we're doing things even bigger than when he was here. We have 450,000 acres of conservation property. We employ dozens of people around the world protecting wildlife. Last year, Robert remembered his dad on what was both the anniversary of his death and Father's Day in Australia, writing in part, I cherish all the good times with my dad and feel grateful to be able to keep his memory and legacy alive. I don't get emotional that much. Cheers. Dad would be really proud of me. Oh, Dad would be stoked with that. We did it.